Hi, I'm Roger King from TMC Marine. We're out here at Astralar Brief in the Bay of Plenty. I've been working on the Rena project for four years and I've dived the site here 27 times. Hi, I'm Steve Hathaway. I'm an underwater cameraman. Yeah, so why are we out here, Roger? Well, it's all about the reef access plan and, and the opening of the reef and keeping people safe. I'm guessing there's going to be a truckload of people pretty keen to rush out of here as soon as it opens. And that's what we thought, so we've thought up the reef plan to try and keep people safe and uh, so they can enjoy their experience out here with the reef reopened. So what's the purpose of the access plan? The Astralab Reef Access Plan is to help facilitate safe and responsible uh, boating and diving activities at the reef with the reef open. It's been closed for four and a half years to the public and we're trying to make sure that everyone who comes out here and we know it'll be a popular site, stays safe and engages in safe and responsible boating and diving. So coming out here today, we're about 12 nautical miles off uh, Tauranga entrance. You know, what are some of the safety aspects you know, the boaties have to consider? It is an exposed location, it's in open ocean, it's 12 miles offshore. So people who come out here have to have a vessel or boat that's a suitable size for the conditions. They need to check the weather, they need to make sure their boat's suitably equipped with their safety equipment, radios, EPIRB, life jackets, uh, they've got enough fuel to get here and back and make sure they check the weather forecast. I can state from personal experience this is the, probably the best the conditions get out here and they can change very quickly. So if, if you're not aware of the changing conditions or not prepared, you can get yourself into trouble fairly quickly. It's a massive responsibility being a skipper. You know, so boaties coming out here, they're responsible for their divers and people on board. What should they expect about a spot like this? Well, I think the key point is, you know, we've described the open ocean situation, but there is still a reef that dries at low water, so they can hit the reef itself. Um, there's going to be other people out here enjoying their activities out here as well. There's going to be boys deployed out here to show where the wreck is. And they've got to be careful with other users, such as divers, who have their A flag up, of course, to make sure they keep, keep well clear 200 metres at five knots. So you've dived Astralab quite a few times now. What kind of safety things would you recommend to divers here? It's really important that the skivers and the dive crew are aware of the conditions out here. The conditions that affect diving are the swell conditions, the, the wind strength and the current strength. They're the ones are the, are the major factors that can affect safety. Uh, if the conditions are agreeable, uh, the skippers can moor their boats up to either one of two orange uh, buoys that we, which are marking the recommended dive trails. Uh, but they will see out here two yellow boys and they're marking the stern section which are not recommended dive areas. This is a really advanced dive site, so you'd want to have at least your open water certificate to come out here. And preferably come out here with someone who knows the site? Definitely come out here with someone who knows the site. There's nothing like local knowledge. So you've got two recommended dive sites here with the orange boys. Just describe what we're going to see down there. Both sites are under 18 metres depth and they've both got a combination of, of reef and of, of wreck. And, uh, They've been designed so people can experience the whole whole, whole gamut of, of experiences out here at Astrolab. So where can people go to learn more about this? So there's a website specifically set up to help people become more informed, astrolabreef.co.nz or we recommend going to your local dive shop or, or joining your local dive club and going with them. In summary, what are the key pieces of advice for people to remember? Look, I think the summary is keep to the fundamentals, safe boating, safe diving, safe fishing, don't take any risks. Too right.